They call me the Rhino. What? Lord Speed Shot, uh, Speed Force. Today I am here reacting to Craven the Hunter, uh, the official trailer. While you're here, just like button, share, subscribe, go check out previous videos on the channel. Check the channels I'm subscribed to. So they released the Craven trailer. If you guys go back to my channel, I completely ignored when Venom was coming out. I completely ignored when Morbius was coming out. I even kind of ignored when Cross Spider was coming out. I <laughs> did record reactions to those trailers, but I never got around to uploading them. But uh, yeah, I'm reacting to Kraven now. I reacted to the Spider-Man 2 trailer, which had Kraven in it. So I just thought, you know, another Spider-Man related thing coming out. Another villain movie that doesn't have Spider-Man that's focused around a uh, super villain protagonist where he's just going to be fighting another animal person. I bet you, I haven't watched this at all. I haven't seen any leaks around it. I haven't seen any clips on TikTok. I, have, I don't know if this is like a viral thing. I haven't seen anybody really talking about this. It's been like a day for me. I bet you he's going to be fighting another animal person, maybe like another version of Kurt Connors, a uh, lizard man. I have three guesses, okay? I know somebody's going to be that's such a cop out. He's either going to be fighting an uh, alternate version of lizard, he's going to be fighting like a giant lizard, which I think is highly unlikely because we already had lizard in No Way Home and the Tazim universe. He's going to be fighting another version of Rhino, which may also be unlikely since we just saw Rhino in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Uh, at the end of that movie with the mech, the mech suit. Or, who's another animal villain that he could fight? Maybe, I don't know, Lizard and Rhino. That's all I'm going to go with. He's going to be fighting one of those. That's what, because he, I feel like he's just, they're going to have him fight like an animal person and they're going to try their best to make a bad guy look good even though he's still kind of bad, you know, like... <sighs> But yeah, let's just hop straight on in. If you guys, if I did the intro twice, that means you just saw like a sped up version of me. But yeah, let's hop straight on in. Uh, right now, I just see the Quicksilver from Age of Ultron staring at me with Morbius eyes. So that's that's the best way I can describe it. He's probably on the screen right now, so you guys probably see. But this <laughs> one. Oh, okay. Spiders. Is he gonna turn into Spider Man? Yeah, what is this? This is not New York, right? Isn't he supposed to be in Africa? Oh, this is Britain? So oh, UK flag. Is Super Soldier here? My son, never show mercy. Ooh! Wait, I had to make sure I was screen recording. Yo, that sounds like Craven! The guy talking. We are predators. Oh, it's him! It's him! I forget his name. He played, uh... He played Zeus in the third, uh, the, Your mother the is dead. fourth door movie. She died because you sent her away. Oh. She was weak, sick in her mind. You know my business, yes? Those people, ooh, oh. they actually showing blood? It's is this PG-13? If you show weakness... Oh, it's a lion, an animated one, Lion King. It's Simba. Shoot. Oh, oh, oh! Like his mother. Leave him. What? What happened that day? I stared death in the face, and for the first time, I saw my true self. What? Tell me I'm not this hunter. They say what he used in... the connection oh. with the to track his prey. Oh. I want you on his list. There's only one way off. There's six of us, there's only one of you. There's six of you now. Yeah, that's cool. There's a lot of blood. Did he just bite him? What? There's no way this is PG-13. My father puts evil into the world. I take it out. So you're a superhero that only hunts down your dad. That was Come insane. On. Putting a bear trap on his head? He's not even hunting any animals, though. He's just hunting people. I think you're some kind of horns aren't born. You're exactly like our father. Just another man hunting for a trophy. Hey! I do like the action. The action looks pretty cool. Isn't that what he taught us? Dang! You don't get to do that to me anymore. 
He has the vest. Mr. Teglin. Mr. Teglin? Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. What? There's no way this is, this is rated R, isn't it? You're a goddamn lunatic. Oh, you just figured yeah, out. Yeah, you just huh? bit someone. Morbius. Morbius. <laughs> oh, man, this movie's gonna make more billion dollars. Golly. There is an animal in each one of us. Don't you want to know why they call me the rhino? What? Oh, my. <laughs> There is no way! Oh wait, that looks cool though. Wow. Now that looks cool. Imagine, imagine this, imagine this. Imagine a universe where we could have got him to play another character in the MCU. Because he already played Quicksilver, but it would have been cool to see him play, I don't know, Craven, but in the MCU where he actually hunts down animals in Africa and then decides that he needs to go to New York to hunt Spider-Man. <laughs> Dang, he his abs are chiseled though, and he looks mad. I'm gonna go back through the trailer and do a little dissection. Just they started with it started with Blue Beetle, you know. I found I found my calling, you know, going back and showing how much of a nerd I am. I try not to talk that much or interrupt the original trailer. I didn't I actually didn't pause that much, so yeah. Let's hop straight on in. Uh, we see we see him right here, having the glowing eyes. Also, in the comics, from my understanding, Kraven is just a really strong man, just like Kingpin. Like, Kingpin's a strong man, so is Kraven. So, they did take a leap of faith to, like, change up his origin and, like, make him a super-powered supervillain or superhero. My dad puts evil in the world, and I take it out. So, I don't know. Uh, thanks to Spider-Verse, though, and, like, the, uh, the idea of the multiverse and alternate universes, when something is adapted differently now, I don't really see it as, like, a big departure from... Um, the source material. I just kind of see it as like an alternate version of the source material. Like, thanks to Spider-Verse, you know? Like, Tobey Maguire, some people are probably upset that he has organic webs, but he's just an alternate version of Spider-Man. Like, this is just an alternate version of Kraven, you know what I mean? So, it's cool to see. Like, how in uh, Spider-Verse, in the prisons, we saw uh, Moose Stereo. It's like a, it was like a Moose version of Mysterio. Uh, we saw like a video game version of Green Goblin. It's like, all these villains are different versions, and of course there's going to be alternate versions of them. It's just weird that this universe, the Sony-verse that has Venom, Morbius, and now Vulture from the MCU, doesn't have a, a Spider-Man. So there's like all these villains crawling around, acting like they're good guys or whatever. I think so. I think guys like us should do some good. Like, I don't know. So I don't know what this is. I want to guess this is the UK because of the way the construction looks and also saw a UK flag, so. Brain. My son never show me. Oh yeah, but that was another complaint I had. <laughs> this dude's like running like Captain America like he's a super soldier. Like you really just got lion powers. Like just because a lion's blood's gonna fall into your body does not mean that your body's gonna be able to handle like the enhancements that you get from that. <laughs> I know some people are gonna call me hypocrite, be like, well, you don't complain about Spider Man. Spider Man got bitten by a radioactive spider. This, that better have been a radioactive lion, okay? Because there's no way that you get lion blood, it just bonds to your DNA. At worst, he gets like an infection and dies. But he sound his dad, while he's narrating, sounds more like Craven in my head than he does. Like the guy playing Craven. It, Aaron Taylor Johnson, I think his name is. Yeah, he. I don't know. His the guy playing his dad sounds more like uh, Craven to me, especially like when you compare it to the Spider-Man Two trailer I reacted to recently. Like he sounds a lot like the Craven from the game. And that's what Craven sounds like. To me. That's how. The, that's how the Spider-Man Two teaser trailer I knew what Craven's voice was because sometimes when you're reading comments or you're watching stuff, you kind of just get like a you get an idea of what that character would sound like. So I never really heard anything with Craven in it except for like cartoons he didn't really sound like that but right when i heard it in uh the teaser trailer i was like oh that's meant to be craven you know but he could bend doors i don't even know if lions could do that <laughs> okay across that's crazy so his mom had mental Lewis, illness and died your mother is dead that's what he's saying right she died because you sent her away she was weak 
sick in her mind. Yeah, so she had mental illness and he didn't care about her anymore. That's what I'm gaining from that. You know my That's business. crazy. 2023. Power is about strength. No! If you're is, his son, is his dad strong or is his, does he just have like dad strength? If you show weakness, you will give our enemies an opening. Okay, shoot it. <laughs> shoot. He missed. <laughs> I mean, that tore up. That's crazy that nobody did anything. Nobody like shot. His mother, leave him. What happened that day? Uh, yeah, it looks like he just became like a lion spider man. Also, why was there a card? What is that? I stared death in the face, and for the first yeah, time, he doesn't really sound like I a saw my true me. self. Tell me about this hunter. They say he uses a connection with animals to track his prey. Okay. So he. Once you're on his list. His lion, he's the king of the animals now because of the lion DNA. Of <laughs> six of us, but only one of you. There's six of you now. Yeah. This is interesting. A lot of gore. My I do like the combat here at least. The world. This this I take it out. I'm gonna pause the splicing of the DNA and the whole superpower beating up normal agents and stuff just reminds me of Venom and Morbius. Like it seems like very formulaic in my opinion. Because if you remember the first Venom, he's like running around like getting chased by agents and he's beating them up and same thing with Morbius and now they're doing it in this other supervillain movie, so the live action Sony people have a formula that they like to do, and I just feel like the animation people at Sony just know what they're doing with these uh, stuff. I I feel like I don't understand why they don't make like Spider Man movies. Like I know that Tom Holland plays Spider Man, like the live action Spider Man, like in modern day, but I don't understand why they can't do like a a Spider Man 2099 movie in live action or a Spider Man Noir movie in live action because they're making like a Spider Man Noir live action TV show on Amazon. I don't know why they can't like make a movie about it. Like, I feel like that would be better than us watching Craven. Also, I'm just critiquing. I'm not meaning to be rude or anything. I know people work hard on this. Some kind of honor. Dang, he's Jack. Exactly like our father, just another man hunting for a dream. Yeah, yeah, I love them in a uh, bullet train. The murderers. Isn't that what yeah. he taught us? <laughs> Oh, dang, anymore. he's stronger than his dad. He got the spiders. Mr. Teglin. Mr. Teglin? You got a crossbow. Where's Mr. Teglin? Oh, you're standing in him. Dang. You ever got shot with a crossbow that hard that you fly into a wall? Goddamn oh, he has a bounty. Oh, you just figure that out now. Yeah, very Morbius, I'm telling you. That's crazy. I predicted who the villain's going to be. There is an animal in each one of us. Don't you want to know? So he's like an off-brand hawk. So, so now we got like a, a animal splicing multiverse, not multiverse universe, because that happened in Morbius and now it happened with Craven and now it's happening with Rhino. Rhino is a spliced uh, a Rhino man. He kind of reminds me of the Ultimate Spider-Man cartoon Rhino, where he like actually turns into a Rhino man instead of wearing a Rhino suit. I much prefer, like, Rhino Suit Rhino. Like, I much prefer that, like, Spectacular Spider-Man. Or, I, I really wish the MCU... I really hope the MCU does, like, a... Like, a Rhino Suit Rhino. Because, like, Amazing Spider-Man had, like, a teched-up Rhino. And then he's even teched up in the PS4 game, which I think he looks good in there. I just... I don't like him with all the tech knowledge and having, like, Iron Man-type suit on. I do like the tech suit on, like, Scorpion and Vulture in the PS4 game, but I don't know why, I just, I don't feel like it fits Rhino that much. But, uh, what do I think about the trailer? I think this wallpaper is the best thing to come out of it, man. It just, this movie just seems very formulaic. And I'm not one of those people that hate Morbius. I'm not one of those people that like, Morbius sucked, it was trash. Morbius was actually pretty good. It was better than Doctor Strange 2, it was better than Thor 4, it was better than Venom 2, but, uh, Venom... It, I just don't like these Spider-Man movies that are, aren't about Spider-Man. Like, imagine giving Red Skull a movie, or Whiplash a movie, or Abomination a movie. Like, I know Spider-Man and Marvel has, like, the best rogues gallery, but to me, they don't really deserve their own movies. And the only person I see that deserves their own movie would be Venom. If you were to do, like, Lethal Protector Venom after he already met Spider-Man, 
after he already got onto Eddie Brock, after he already has his villain arc. I wouldn't mind a Venom movie after he already has all his interactions with Spider-Man and beats Carnage and all that kind of stuff, has all his offspring. I wouldn't mind a Venom movie. But having Venom just pop up, no Spider-Man, all black, just fighting rip-offs of himself, uh, having Morbius come in here, no Spider-Man, DNA spliced, off-brand Man Bat, fights an off-brand version of himself, and now Kraven fights Animal Man, off-brand version of himself because, okay, so Kraven's a Lion Man, and now he's about to fight Rhino Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't like the guy injecting himself with stuff and like, do you wonder why they call me the Rhino? you wonder why they call me Lord Speed? <laughs> I'M FAST! <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why they call me the Rhino? I turn into one. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I am going to watch the movie to support Sony and Marvel, because I really- I, I love- I love the Cross of Spider-Verse, and I- I love the Spider-Man games. So I'm going to support them. I didn't support Morbius. I didn't go see it because it kept getting pushed back. So I lost interest in it because they kept pushing it back because of COVID. So this movie, October, I'll see it. Something light and, you know, maybe a little post credit scene. We can see what Vulture's up to. <laughs> he, he recruits Craven. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, only out there, forget to check the like button, share, and subscribe because you got previous videos on the channel. Check the channel to subscribe to. And I'll see you guys in the next one.